Okay, let's talk about the best resources for entrepreneurs. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to share with you some resources that I think every entrepreneur should try and hunt down and find and use so that they can be a better entrepreneur and improve their chances for success. Now what I'm not going to do is sit and tell you about specific resources. And the reason is, is I have a lot of viewers from all over the world in various countries in various cities. And frankly, for me to sit and hunt those down specific to one small group of people is a lot of work. So what I'm going to do is tell you about the categories of resources that I think you should hunt down and then have you go do that legwork and find these types of resources. So they're not in any particular order. They're just as I was thinking them through and what I think you will benefit from. What you may find is that some of these are, are specific to the United States, but hopefully if you live in a different country, you have a similar resource that you can leverage a lot of entrepreneurs that I work with in different countries sometimes will tell me they don't have these resources, but then I do my own legwork, my own research, and I find that they do. So don't just discard them right away. Think them through and research them. These are the things that I think you should focus on from a resource perspective. So the very first one is what we would call a startup accelerator or startup incubator. They're slightly different. Incubators tend to take startups that are much earlier in the process. An accelerator will take a company that has been around for a little bit, but is looking to speed up their growth. Uh, some common popular ones in the United States are Y Combinator and 500 Startups. So these companies, these, these programs specialize in working with early stage startups and helping them grow their business, putting them in front of investors, working on their business model, all kinds of things. And I think they are an excellent resource. My own city is only about 250,000 people. And we have no less than five different accelerator or incubator programs. So if you don't think you have them where you live right now, I would encourage you to dig a little bit deeper and find out if that's really true. Now, one note on these, uh, before COVID-19 hit us, uh, a lot of these happened in person, uh, but they have now moved online. So again, if you feel like there's not any of these in your local area, you should be able to find some that you can apply to online. For example, I mentioned Y Combinator. I know they have an online accelerator program that people can apply to. So highly encourage you to hunt these down. A lot of startups come out of these moving much faster than they were when they started. Some of these programs you have to apply for because they're popular. They don't just take everybody. There are some that are less popular and they will take uh, other people. So apply to multiple. If this is something that you want to do, it's a very structured program. It's almost like a university or learning about startups. And then they pair you with mentors and things like that. So I'm going to use that to transition into the second resource that I think you should think about, which is having a mentor. Whether you're a high growth startup or just going to start a lifestyle business, mentors can go a really long way toward teaching you things. Just yesterday, I had the fortune of talking to a young lady who was looking for mentors in her profession, and we got to talking about what she was looking for, and she was outright to say, hey, would you mind mentoring me? Find people who are in the field you're, you'd like to be in or the field you are in and you're hoping to grow within who are in positions you'd like to be in and ask them if they're willing to mentor you. What that could mean is some informal conversations over Zoom, maybe once a quarter. It might mean emailing them when you have questions within your industry. It can be formal or informal, but it's a great way to benefit from the experience and knowledge of someone who's been in business a bit longer, or maybe if they haven't been there longer, maybe they've still had more success than you have had. So think about mentors. Also, another way to think about mentors, and I'm going to cover a couple of my favorite books for entrepreneurs in the next video, but mentors don't always have to be a, per, a live person. Sometimes you can learn things from mentors that have now passed away. Maybe there are authors like Winston Churchill who wrote great books and you can learn things from them. A lot of people like to read The Art of War by Sun Tzu. He's no longer with us, but he could be a mentor of yours by learning through his books. So mentors don't have to be live. They can be you know, people who have passed away and, and left their knowledge behind in the form of books and things like that. 
So very similar to mentors is the idea of an advisory board. I've talked about this in the past before, particularly for startups. When you form a startup and investors start to put money into your business, they're going to ask you to form a board of directors. Those are people who have an official vote in what happens with the business. A board of advisors is slightly different. They're just people who are willing and oftentimes volunteers, or maybe you pay them a small amount to meet with you regularly as a board and help steer the decisions you make in your business. This advisory board can be made up of, of people like accountants, law, legal, legal folks, attorneys, couldn't get that word out, uh, accountants, attorneys. It could be people who uh, had successful businesses in your industry. Maybe you're in the pet food business and you can talk someone into uh, being on your advisory board that used to be in that industry. Uh, again, it can be in it can be voluntary or paid. I've been on an advisory board before. I've been on the advisory board of a uh, the second largest credit bureau agency in the United States, a company called TransUnion, and I was on their advisory board. And they would fly me up about every six months to sit for a couple of days and help them work through challenges that they were going through and provide them insight. So that's the third way to 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 get some resources. Um, other entrepreneurs can be great resources, whether they're wanting to be an entrepreneur or a new to entrepreneurship, or maybe even a very successful entrepreneur. Being around other entrepreneurs is a great way to, to gain some resources, to learn from one another. Even people who are new to entrepreneurship can usually teach you something if you're willing to listen a little bit. So I love the idea of other entrepreneurs. Something closely tied to that is entrepreneurial communities. There are a lot of these that are run by some famous online so-called gurus. Uh, there's a couple that I think are smart business people. A guy named Chris Ducker uh, runs a uh, community called Solopreneur. Um, Amy Porterfield, I think, has a community. Just on, just search for entrepreneurial communities. For example, I live in the southern United States, and one state above me in Kentucky is a community uh, around Kentucky-based startups. And so I was able to find that community on Slack and I've joined it. And I, not necessarily regularly, but I interact with the people on that forum and am able to learn from them and vice versa. So communities are another great resource. And then the last one I'm gonna share with you is one that could be specific to the United States, but you may have something like this in your country and city. In the United States, we call them an SBDC, a Small Business Development Center. These are government-funded centers, uh, usually in major cities in the United States, and they are tied to the Small Business Administration in the United States, the SBA. And these SBDCs do a lot of educational courses and other work with entrepreneurs for free, typically, or maybe a small amount for a course in order to learn about entrepreneurship. So the local SBDC in my city is ran by a, name, a gentleman named Bruce Hayes. I've known Bruce a long time. They do a great job and they work with entrepreneurs. So you can go to them and say, I need help with a business plan. I need help with financial projections. I need to learn about accounting. I need to learn about marketing. What resources can you tie me to? And they are basically, they are funded by the government to help encourage the growth of small business. And these make excellent resources, particularly for new entrepreneurs who um, haven't had that kind of exposure. So just some generic resources that I think all entrepreneurs can benefit from. Just Google them yourself and start to find out where these exist either in your area or even in the modern world online. You can find a lot of these things and benefit from them and learn from them to improve your chances for success. Anyways, till next time, hope that helps and I hope you find your voice. Have a good day.